Hello everyone, my name is Prashun Jaiswal and today I am going to explain uh, this Johnson's algorithm for all play, uh, pairs shortest path. So first of all, uh, we will uh, look into this uh, definition and representation. Uh, so what is a graph? A graph is basically a set of uh, vertices and edges. As you all know, an uh, undirected graph uh, is a pair uh, of uh, V and E. V is uh, vertices and E is the edge, and where V is finest set of points called vertices, and E is a finest set of edges. So, and edge uh, E belongs to E. Capital E is an unordered pair. Uh, so, pair of U and V. U and V are do both uh, belongs to the set of vertices. So, we have uh, one point as U and one point as V, and the uh, edge which are joining this both the points are is known as E. So E is a belongs to edge family. In direct graph, what happens? Uh, edge E is an ordered pair of U and V. So it is nothing but a vectored edge. And edge U V is incident from vector ve vertex U and is incident to a vertex V. So uh, an edge which is moving from uh, U to V is uh, basically a directed graph. Uh, basically a directed edge and that graph is known as directed graph a path from a vertex v to a vertex u is a sequence of v0 v1 v2 and dot dot vk so a path is basically a when a we move from one vertex to another so a path is a sequence of the vertex vertex of where v0 is v and vk is equal to u so v0 is the initial point and vk is the final point so vj a uh, vi comma vi plus 1 belongs to e e is a set of edge belongs to E for uh, L equals to 0 to K minus 1. The length of a path is defined as the number of edges in the path. So we can define the length of the path as the number of edges in that path. So the next path is definition and representation. So how we represent a directed and undirected graph. So undirected graph is basically represented without a ve uh, vectored edge. So um, the edge is simple and it is not defined or it is not directing to any other uh, vertex so a directed is basically opposite to that one so it it is uh, means directed to some other u to v so it is incident to u as well as v so introduction uh, first uh, we will introduce all pair shortest path uh, like any communication link like a road network or one of the most uh, natural algorithm question is how we de uh, determine the shortest path from one point to another so in this project we basically deal with one of the most fundamental problems of graph theory so how we gonna solve it so basically there are three distinct algorithm to face this problem which is uh, like the floyd Marshall's algorithm and uh, all pair shortest uh, path uh, via multiplication uh, matrix multiplication so we gonna means write all the uh, cost of the edges and then we used to do some matrix multiplication to solve that one and the Johnson's algorithm is basically what, uh, what we are going to deal with. Minimum spanning tree. Uh, so first we define the minimum spanning tree. A spanning tree of undirected graph is a subgraph of G that is a tree containing all the vertices of G. So in a spanning tree what we do is like uh, we have all the vertices vertex and, and a single edge which is minimum as well and which connects to all the vertex. So in a weighted graph the weight of the subgraph is the sum of the weight of the edges in the subgraph a minimum spanning tree is like a for a weighted undirected is a spanning tree with a minimum weight so a vertex are there and the edges are connected to all the vertex and and the minimum one is the minimum spanning tree so next uh, we going to use this one minimum spanning tree so like we can see here there are basically one two three four five vertex and each and every vertex is connected to each other with a edge and each edge is a weighted edge so in order to find the minimum spanning tree we basically takes the minimum uh, edge which is connected between the two vertex so in order to find that we use several algorithms like uh, distrust and others so finding the shortest path uh, the problem divides into two related categories and the basically one is single source shortest path problem and the second one is all pair shortest path problem so we here in this video we are dealing with all pair shortest path problem single source shortest path problem is directed graph consists of determining the shortest path from fixed source vertex to all other vertex so in this one there is a directed path and we determine the shortest path from a fixed vertex to other vertex 
and the all pair shortest path is this one is the distance problem is that of finding the shortest path between all pair of vertices of a graph so in uh, next one uh, all pair shortest path uh, apsp as we it's acronym given to all pair shortest path uh, is given a weight and directed graph g with g uh, contains a set of vertex and edges uh, and uh, with a weight function w weight is here the cost given to each and every edge that maps edge to real value weight we wish to find um, for every pair of vertices so this is basically how to find we gonna find with all pair shortest path so given weight uh, graph g v e comma w so w is nothing but an integer variable uh, integer value which uh, is given to each and uh, which is the like the cost of each and every edge the all pair shortest path problem is to find the shortest path between all the pair of vertices a number of algorithms are known for solving this problem so johnson's algorithm is one of the basic algorithm which is used for solving this one so it finds the shortest path between all pairs in in uh, big o of v square log v plus v e v square is the vertex and e is the edge set of all the edges and v is the set of all the vertex for sparse graph it is as simple Kali better than either repeated squaring of matrices or the Floyd partial algorithm. So it is partially better than uh, this uh, in sparse graph for in Floyd partial algorithm. The algorithm either returns a matrix of shortest path weight for all pairs of vertices or reports that the integer graph contains a negative weight cycle. So in this one, what we basically implement two different uh, algorithms side by side. Like if in here we will basically see a uh, edge which contains some negative value so in order so we cannot directly apply discras algorithm so in order to apply discra we have to change it to positive side so we first apply bellman forward algorithm then the edges value has been changed to positive then we apply discras algorithm to find the shortest path so thank you for watching this video uh, my colleague will uh, continue with this one thank you Hello everyone, my name is Vikram and I am going to be continuing this presentation on the Johnson's algorithm. Before we get started, let's talk about what the Johnson's algorithm is all about. The Johnson's algorithm is an algorithm to find the shortest path between all pairs in a directed weighted sparse graph having a time complexity of v square log v plus ve, where v stands for the number of vertices and e stands for the number of edges. For sparse graphs, it is asymptotically better than either the repeated squaring of matrices technique or the floyd washel algorithm. This algorithm either returns a matrix of the shortest path weights for all pairs of vertices or it reports that the input graph contains a negative weight cycle. The Johnson's algorithm uses two algorithms as its subroutines. They are the Dijkstra's algorithm and the Bellman-Ford algorithm. Now let us take a look at the steps involved in this algorithm. The first step, uh, node Q, is added to the graph connected by zero weight edge to each of the other nodes. In the second step, the Bellman-Ford algorithm is used starting from the new vertex Q to find for each other vertex the least weight of a path from Q to V. If this step detects a negative cycle, then this algorithm is terminated. Next, the edges of the original graph are reweighted using the values computed by the Bellman-Ford algorithm. An edge from u to v having length w of u v is given the new length w of u v plus h of u minus h of v. Finally, for each node s, the Dijkstra's algorithm is used to find the shortest path from s to each other vertex in the reweighted graph. Now, let us consider this following example. The first step, we add a source S and add edges from S to all other vertices of the original graph. In the diagram, the S stands for 4. The second step, we calculate the shortest distances from 4 to all other vertices using the Bellman-Ford algorithm. The shortest distances from 4 to 0, 1, 2 and 3 are 0, minus 5, minus 1 and 0 respectively as shown in the figure above. Once we get the distances, we remove the source vertex 4 and reweight the edges using the given formula. That is W of u v is equal to W of u v plus h of u minus h of v. Now since all these weights are positive now, now we can implement the Dijkstra's algorithm to find the shortest path 
fit in all pairs of nodes now we can now in to check the time complexity of this algorithm in different graphs is as follows for dense graphs the algorithm is ve log v in sparse graphs it is v square log v which as can be seen is much better than the floyd warshall algorithm in case of sparse graphs and in case of the dijkstra algorithm it has a time complexity of e log v but when the graph is sparse there is no e and it becomes v square thank you for watching this presentation